Oh, I had to work for it today. So check this out. Market opens. Pretty good gap up. 61, $2 gap up. All right, great. Everything's looking great. Gap up. We should go long. Let's wait for the pullback. Let's wait for the people that are selling up here that cashing in some profit. Let it pull back, and then we'll go long. All right. Not on the SPY, but on NVIDIA or AMD or something that's going to act just like the SPY. So, that's what we did. And here's what happened. Starts pulling back. Everything's looking good. All right. Nice pullback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Damn, I guess we're going to come back and fill the gap. Okay, so now we filled the gap. I'm entering AMD. Whoops. What in the hell happened? I can't find any real news. I mean, there must have been something that pissed them off. I couldn't really find anything. I look at the numbers, but after a while, I'm like, it doesn't really matter if I find anything or not. It's happening. I can see there's something they don't like. Oh, it just kept flushing and kept flushing. So, my trading style on these, well, let me get rid of the spy. You can see the spy here. It's just ridiculous. Go to AMD. So, here's AMD. <laughs> like I said, look, gap up. Go long. That's the Mayor Barak trading that way. It doesn't work. You can't just do that. That's why they, but I mean, they, they would have taken it long up here and just set their stop down here and waited and they would have got stopped out. Oh, well, but they do that every day. I'm not doing that every day. So my style is I have to buy on a pullback. I don't like big stops. I buy on a pullback like I buy, like right here. And I normally would stop it out here. But lately I've been doing uh, averaging down. Because it, these stocks almost always bounce. Well, it didn't bounce today. <laughs> I mean, I should have known. I haven't been doing averaging down very long. Um, I used to just stop out. So I would buy a stock here, start to run up. I would Normally I would have taken profit actually right here and been done with it. And if it came back down under here, I would have just stopped out. But I've been averaging down because they always seem to bounce. So there was no bounce today. So I eventually had to stop out here at, uh, I think, $200 debt in the red. I said, okay, damn it, I just missed the bounce. So I bought it again here. Nope. And I uh, same thing here. Bought it again here. All right, now we're for sure bouncing. It broke the deal. Yeah, we're go okay, good to go. No, it's one of those days where it's like false bounces. And then it really took off. So luckily right here. Uh, I realized, uh, I looked up and I'm like, oh, the SPY is down. It started out green, like, I don't know, like 1% or something green. A good a $2 gap. I look up and the SPY is red. I'm like, oh, okay, we got a, we got a problem. <laughs> At this point, I'm down $400. So I had to work for it today. Look at all these trades. And the thing with being down 400 is I don't just, okay, let me short 400 shares here and just let it run. No, you can't do that because this could be the bottom. In fact, look, reverse head and shoulders, it should have went up. But, you know, it didn't work that way. So that's what I did. Scalped it, scalped it, scalped it, scalped it all the way down. Look, I would take it out of the flag. Ah, it ain't going. Grab some profit. Flag, oh, it ain't going. Okay, I got a good one there. I missed some of the best ones. The blues are buys, reds are sells. Uh, shorted it here, just kept doing that. Okay, right here, I started playing it for a reversal, but I was so skittish by that time, I was still down 200 bucks. Normally, I would have entered here a small share size. It kept running up. I would have entered here again on these pullbacks, and when the lines crossed, I would have added more and when it broke off of here I would have added more and then just let it run but today because the market was flushing down it wouldn't let the stocks go up I couldn't do that so I had to keep monitoring it you, keep, you, you see I would buy and sell buy and sell buy and sell and right up here I'm like there's no freaking way I'm taking this damn thing long again 
If I would have just stayed in the reversal like I was supposed to, took my full share size, I'd have been back to even. But it's not going to, I know what it's going to do. It's going to falsely break out. Let's look. You can see from this rush here, it's exactly halfway back, plus there was a level here. It's going to false break out, and it's going to fail again. Luckily, I know about that. I'm smart enough to at least surmise that, even though I screwed up on the on the on the, on the, on the uh, trading the open. Look, short right into a green candle, because I already know what's going to happen. And it was a small stop, too. I'm short in here. I think it was 74, 75. My stop was right over the top. Right over the top there. Not up here at the whole number or nowhere. Just right over the top. If it went over the top, that's too bad. And I would try it again at the whole number. Started to break, started to break. And I took it on down. Made my money back and a little profit. <laughs> Dude, it's 1 o'clock. 